Pisces and so tribe. I'm here for another Pisces reading today. As always, this is the general and it's a collective message. It's not a personal reading, but if you would like one, you could check out the box below for all personal readings, one-to-one -one sessions, Akashic records to dive into your past life energies, or anything else it is that you may need. There is a new event page on the website for all online and offline workshops and yoga classes so feel free to check that out as well to see when the next event or workshop is happening near you all right pisces and without further ado the only thing i have for this reading coming up is grapefruit grapefruit was coming up earlier when i had tried to film it um i had a little bit of trouble filming it the first time um, so we're going to be doing this again, Pisces, but we're going to get out this message to you. And what came out in the other one was grapefruit as well. So grapefruit, the scent, the juice, the actual fruit, the meaning of it, um, that can mean something to you. You have strength over here. This challenge will make you stronger. You will look through to the other side. Look for the gifts in this situation. And it is a dark horse, okay? Look for the gifts in whatever situation this is for you, Pisces, look for what it has to teach you. Um, Rhiannon is also coming up now. Uh, Rhiannon, she's coming up just in the reading. <laughs> so she could resonate with you, um, the energy of Rhiannon. And I do also have possibility, raise your standards, elevate your expectations. You have unlimited potential. Okay, you have unlimited potential. So just look at the bright side of this situation. Uh, be gentle with yourself and know that whatever challenge that this is, 144 on the clock, there is some sort of gift or teaching in the situation. It, it's just a matter of seeing it. Why do we have the strength card here for the Pisces? Sacred union, potential promise it's about to happen. Beloved within, inner and outer relationships. You have stopped the endless searching inner quest in reverse. Okay, there's definitely something perhaps within. Uh, I don't usually read oracles reverse. However, there could definitely be just something happening within. And there's a need for you to truly just see um, the gifts for whatever is within this search, within this situation. You do also have the card sacred union. It does say beloved within. It also says inner and outer relationships. There's definitely maybe some sort of reflection of your own inner relationship that you may be, that you can take from an outside relationship in your life currently, Pisces, you know, so maybe think about the relationships in your life, you know, and maybe what's going on. If there is any challenging aspects, um, can this, um, can some of this maybe reflecting the inner relationship, you know, or it could just be, you know, relating to the outer relationships. You do also have the Holy Grail. Okay, so that Holy Grail energy, that's the grapefruit energy. So there is some sort of focus on the, the either the womb space, the Holy Grail, the Divine Feminine, grapefruit. Um, a lot of masculine and feminine energy within here. Okay, so if this has to do with a connection with out of you, Pisces, because there does seem to be a focus on it when it comes to whatever this challenging aspect is, look for the gifts in it. You know, uh, everyone is your teacher. Everyone you come across is your teacher. Uh, everything is your teacher. Uh, even if it seems challenging, what can it teach you? Um, on the bottom of the deck is, uh, yeah, the bud. Potential promise and it's about to happen. Uh, we're going to go to the tarot, Pisces. All right, Divine Mother, Divine Father, for strength, the Holy Grail, the Sacred Union. Some Pisces, you have the Magician here. This is also just a separate side note. What's coming through the, with this Holy Grail and Grapefruit energy is um, like womb healing. I'm feeling like a woman who has found something in her womb. Uh, of course, it's like an energetic root, um, but like a, a woman who's going to start womb healing. You know, uh, we are going to get to the reading, so just take it as it resonates, but... There's something like a, a illness, a dis-ease of the womb, an infection in your womb. Okay, this has to do ancestral. It has to do with like inner masculine and feminine energies. And it's definitely, there's an energetic and a spiritual root to it. So go within. Um, I'm just getting a heavy energy of 
I say woman because I do feel the womb space. It could be a man. Maybe you could find something in your sacral chakra, which has a lot to do with, you know, like your, your digestive system and all, all of that prostate, that kind of stuff. Um, I'm feeling like an infection or bad news or like some sort of news. Um, that could just resonate for some. And that could have something to do with it or it could have nothing to do with it. Just take it as it resonates. Let's get to your reading, Pisces. For the strength card. Oh, there it goes. Oh, wow. For the strength card, we have strength. <laughs> okay. So for the strength card, what do we have? Strength. Uh, very clear indication here, Pisces, that whatever challenge is presenting itself in your life right now, it will require strength. It will require you to be strong. And the strength card is not even, you know, like being strong on the outside, but being strong with those that the inner lion, taming the inner lion. All right, the inner animal at this time. And then we do have harmonious change. Okay, two of pentacles. Be strong as you're coming into this balance. You do have the justice card, which, as I say, balance, justice. Okay, things are coming into a balance for you. Here goes a, a lot more of the masculine, feminine energy, that light, that dark, that union energy. Um, I almost feel like the card, like the, the law of polarity. So the law of polarity can also mean something to you. If you're studying the law of polarity, you can read it and it could definitely resonate with you. You have king of swords. And then you have the devil. All right. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Devil card is Capricorn energy. It's also just a karmic energy. You have the hermit. Who is this king of swords here? Page of swords. There could be a king of swords here, Pisces. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. That might be coming with some sort of communication. You have the page of swords energy. Why the devil card with the king of swords? You have the High Priestess. All right. There will definitely... You need your intuition at this time, Pisces. Seven of Wands. That's why there's such a focus on the womb space, the grapefruit. So, like, take everything as it resonates. But what I'm getting right now, too, is, like, you need your intuition. For this situation, you need to be still and go within. That's the high priestess. Like, whatever's going on, she's going to be still, she's going to be silent, and she's going to go within. There's a need for you to do that. When it comes to this energy, why the high priestess here? Do not fall face up. Why the high priestess here? All is not what it seems. You know, and as, as I'm pulling these cards, it's like all is not what it seems about Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. There, there needs to be some sort of communication coming through, or there will be. But there's a need when this comes up in your um, reality, Pisces. If it does, um, there's a need for you to be using your intuition in this situation. Why? Because not all is not as it seems. All is not as it seems, and there's a need for you to use your intuition. This is a karmic um, situation. Why the devil card? Beautiful energy, Pisces. You have the Ten of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck, and as I say that, I get like goosebumps on my legs. Okay, you have the Death card with the Page of Cups. All is not what it seems. Why the death card with the page of cups? Why the death card with the page of cups? You have the eight of cups. You're going to walk away from something over here, Pisces. Queen of cups. Why the eight of cups over here? Queen of Swords, you're going to cut something right out of your life, Pisces, the Hermit card over here, going within. There's someone in your life, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy, it doesn't have to be. This person is not being completely honest about something. But it 
Like it's going to take you to trust your intuition over what it is that you see and the words that you hear. With the Devil cards clarified by the Page of Cups and the Death card over here. Okay, this is meant to end. This is meant to bring a death and a rebirth. You have the Page of Cups especially regarding emotions. And I have chills now on my um, arms as I say that. What is the Page of Cups here with the Death card? What is the Page of Cups with the Death card? Pisces, this, uh, look for the gifts in this situation. Definitely look for the gifts in the situation. You have the Nine of Wands over here. I do feel like there's a challenge, there's a, something challenging with this person. Um, or it's like a, just a challenging relationship or connection of yours. It doesn't have to be love so far. To clarify the Page of Cups, I have the Sun. Page of Cups, you can usually see as a youthful energy, could be immature. You have the Sun card, which can also represent inner child joy. There's someone here. Can be manipulative. It's like, and I get manipulative because there's that maybe what they perceive, people can perceive you as naive, Pisces. People can perceive you as naive. And I do feel like this is a situation here of where it's not all that meets the eye, Pisces. You're going to be trusting your intuition. I feel like someone sees you as naive, though. You have the Knight of Pentacles over here. Why the Knight of Pentacles for the Pisces? Okay, this is the energy of someone, Pisces, who may see you as naive. One, two, three on the clock. I do feel like it's a little bit of an energy of leading you on, um, playing with you emotionally because this person feels like they can. Again, it's the more naive energy. You have the four of coins over here. Um, this person. This is why Pisces with the high priestess card and the moon card, there are things that you cannot see. And there is a need for you to deeply connect or clear your channel to connect with your intuition. Specifically, divine feminine energy. Again, if you're a man, that's just your intuition. Um, Eight of Cups, you are going to be walking away. You're going to be cutting this out right over here with the sword. And you have this, okay? Um, I don't know why I hear don't hate the player, hate the game. Uh, you're showing up here, Pisces, as the Queen of Swords energy. Uh, you have the King of Swords. And so it's like, Pisces, you're usually in your Pisces, right? When you, you see the Page of Cups, right? It, that's your energy, Pisces. High Priestess, that's all your energy. But you have to switch things up in this situation. Um, I hear put your mon money where your mouth is. I don't know what that means to someone. It could mean something to you. Um, this could also have to do with that person, though. Nine of Pentacles with the Three of Swords, um, they would very slowly lead you on. I do feel like it's like this person, again, they think that you're kind of naive over here. But it's almost like this soul contract, right? Because, like, look for the gifts in this situation. There's karmic rebalancing here, obviously. It's a, it, you have the Devil card, karmic lesson. There's something for you both to learn and to teach to one another. This person sees you as naive. I feel like they think that you're a younger energy. Um, but because of that, I feel like this person thinks that they're a little bit more in control of the, of the situation or energy or whatever it is. Like they, It's almost like they feel like they are, they're the ones like riding the boat. This is a lesson for you, Pisces, because like Knight of Pentacles with the Three of Swords, I'll get another one, but this person is, really looks like only, like they don't actually have true intentions. You know, um, or, or they could say, like, make excuses, like, I need time, I'm just figuring things out, blah, blah, blah. It's going to end up in a three of swords. So they could say whatever they want. And that's the thing here, Pisces, 33 seconds on the clock. With this king of swords, there's a need for you to play this king or queen at their own game. Because this person is only going to lead you on. And they will know exactly how to do it. 
I don't think it's in a bad way. I don't think this person's a bad person. Like, I don't, I don't even get, like, that bad energy. It's just maybe it's always been what they're used to. Maybe they're used to being able to just flow and just lead people on. <laughs> You know, or like maybe that's just like what they're used to in the situation. They're used to those situations, um, but not with you, Pisces. Fifteen, fifteen, as I say that, which is six, six, which is the number of union. It is the number of balance. This is also a lesson for you, because to show, not even show this person. It's nothing to do with showing anyone or showing this person that you're not that person or that you're not naive or whatever it is. You show this person by walking away. Ah. You know, Pisces. You know how you beat the player at their own game. Five, five, five. I said, yeah, that's what I said. Um, you, you walked away. This person's not used to that. I feel like this person thought that you were like kind of naive and that they, you know, you may always be around or just whatever it was. You walked away from this person. I feel like you abandoned this person, but it was like an ego death of a sense. Um, like you, when this, when you left them and like, they didn't think that you would leave in the way that you did. They didn't think that you would just like 33 seconds abandon, like, okay, bye. Like, you know, um, I don't, I think that this person is maybe used to the one being the abandoner, the ghoster, whatever that is for you, Pisces. I think it's actually, you have strength twice. I think that you're in a connection. It could be friendship. It could be a relationship. It could just be, you know, casual dating. I feel like that you met someone that it's going to take you a great strength to walk away because this is obviously not for you, you know, um, it's not really fulfilling emotionally, Pisces. This is not deeply fulfilling at all. Page of Cups with the Death card. It's not deeply fulfilling or emotional. Um, Knight of Pentacles with the Three of Swords. You're slowly walking into heartbreak. 1717 as I say that. 8-8. Eight, eight. Knight of Pentacles card with the Three of Swords. is a You're going to slowly walk into heartbreak. So you're going to hurt yourself. You know, and um, we can... We can do that, Pisces, right? Because <laughs> like when we like to blame other people in situations and things like that, you know, but we could see red flags. We could see certain signs and things like that. And if you continue on, you're hurting yourself. All right, Pisces. And so um, I'm going to get a few more cards here. But you walk away, Pisces. Um and that's actually how you teach this person a lesson. I don't think this person is used to other people kind of like just deucing it out. You know, I don't think you're used to that, Pisces. I don't think you are used to that either. In all honesty, you're not. It's taken you great strength to do that because you don't like to do that. But you need to. And so you're going to do something that you don't want to do. And it's going to take great strength to do it. Um... But you're going to get the gifts in this situation and, and see the lessons, the wisdom. Wow. This Pisces season has me crying a lot. So I promise I'm not going to cry again, Pisces. But I can't promise that, actually. Pisces. <sighs> Learning the lessons and all of this. You do, you do amaze me, though. Ten of Pentacles. Eight of Cups, walk away. Queen of Swords, don't hate the player, hate the game. And I'm not saying that in a bad way, but like, you both needed this. You're not used to putting your foot down. You are not used to walking away. You are used to staying. No matter what. No matter what. You don't have to do that, Pisces. Page of Cups with the Death card. You weren't really getting that much from that person anyway. It could have been triggering. Could have, you know, again, like you were hurting yourself in a sense in this Pisces. And that's just me being honest with you. I've Pisces, we're all Pisces here, right? Um, 
you know, when you, when you see red flags, when you see that someone can actually give you emotionally what you need and you stay there or you stay trying to love someone that clearly does not want to give, they clearly don't want to give to you as much as you want to give to them. Very clearly. You walk into your own heartbreak. The longer you stay, the slower that heart bleeds and the longer your heart bleeds. You are not used to walking away. For this situation, Pisces, you are lear you're learning to also not be naive. Seeing past the words that people say. Seeing past everything. And just following your intuition, Pisces. It's a huge message here. Of like Your intuition has a lot to tell you right now. And this situation is going to teach you to trust your intuition no matter what. Two, three, four. Because the little Pisces, right? Like... You could get a message like that clearly like, okay, it's time to go. This is not serving me, but you'll stay. You're not doing that here though. Like you've walked away. It's really hard for you to do this. This person may not see how hard it was for you. Like you're going to sit there, you're going to cry. You're going to go through all the motions and emotions, but you're going to do it. You're going to walk away. Queen of Swords over here. And you walk straight into the Ten of Pentacles, one, one, one. Your great is like abundance, Pisces. Rest from strife, coming into rest, coming into abundance. But this was really hard for you to do, to walk away from this person. Can I have a little bit more energy on the King of Swords? You have King of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Um, why the King of Why the King of Swords over here? This person, Pisces, this King of Swords, holds, oh shit, and it's funny because I'm saying holds the key. I have judgment, okay? This person holds the key. No one holds a fucking key. But this person, this connection, this soul contract, seeing it from the higher perspective and learning the lesson, Pisces, this person actually has the power to shift things for you. You have come across this person, Pisces, to shift things for you. You know, and um, I know people are always saying, and even I'm always saying, like, it's the karmic cycle. It's almost complete, you know, and the, the journey is just so infinite. But whatever this karmic cycle is, Pisces, in your life, this person is just reflecting to you a karmic cycle you've had. You walk away and you learn that lesson. You trust your intuition no matter what, 22, 33, and you learn that lesson. This person here, uh, it's a king of swords. He's also showing up as Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This person holds what shifts everything for you. That's why you've met this person. Look for the gifts in this situation, Pisces, the strength card. You know, and oftentimes, like, we just want to come into this resentment energy, resenting other people, unforgiving and um, bashing and all these different things. Thank them. I don't know who this is in your life, Pisces, but this is a really, really big message from the universe. Do you need to like thank them? Don't message them. Don't don't do it. Cause you're gonna uh, you're not you're not going back. You you've walked away. Uh, I feel like you walked away from this person cold. Like that's you walked away from this person completely. Thank their higher self, which that's something that you can do. You can ask for forgiveness from other people to their higher selves. If you cannot ask them in person, I've done that. A lot of people have done that. You can also thank them. You can speak to people's high, highest selves if you cannot access them um, or if it's just not, it's not appropriate to do so. You can contact, like thank this person's highest self because um, um, I think once you realize this Pisces, your feelings about this person may shift a little bit. You know, just seeing it for what it is. Why the Four of Pentacles with the Wheel of Fortune? Why the Four of Pentacles with the Wheel of Fortune? King of Pentacles over here, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. There could be another energy coming in. You have the World card with the Eight of Swords, okay? This is the person who holds that key to turn and shift this for you, okay? You have the World card. You have the Eight of Swords coming out of with the eight that's all about cycles coming out of this cycle 
Why the Eight of Swords? And looking on to what's coming in. What's coming in new. All right, Pisces. So that's what I have for you. Um, this person reflected to you a huge karmic cycle that needed to end. Um, and it took a lot of strength. And now I have the Seven of Wands over here in judgment. All right, what it took, what this person taught you, Pisces, was to put your foot down. Like, no, I'm not taking this. Or like, just putting your foot down in boundaries. That's what a, this person, the soul contract, had a lot to teach you, you know. Um, and I have two cards of advice for Pisces. You have four of cups. A little bit of a discontented and bored energy. You do have five of wands here. Uh, you know, and again, in the beginning, like, you need strength for this, okay? There's a lot going on, um, and you probably, you know, it could be hard to face whatever needs to be faced here, um, but try not to daydream too much, okay? I do feel like it's like a daydreamy type of energy. Just um, create, 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 create. This could definitely be a time for you, especially with Pisces season. Um, it would be very helpful to create during this time all right like use those dreams fuel make something with it make it a reality somehow especially through creating why the four of cups for advice you have the knight of cups and then the emperor why the knight of cups for advice yeah uh, you have the five of coins over here. You do have the nine of coins over here. Okay, so don't wait for anything to come in. Um, again, this came up earlier in the reading Pisces where I feel like maybe in the past, like you've just waited around. Like, okay, let's just wait to see how things go. Let's wait till things get better. Let's this, that. I don't feel like there's a waiting or daydreaming energy about you in this energy, Pisces. Like you're, especially with that Virgo full moon, like kind of coming into more of like the reality check of it all, you know? Um, what's, what's the final message for the Pisces? King of Pentacles, uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Knight of Wands. There could be someone new coming into your energy, Pisces, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, let's see what that card it was actually. You have the Knight of Wands, okay? It, it fell out again. It really does want to come out. Um, there could be a Taurus Virgo Capricorn watching you. Um, I do feel like they're a little bit interested in you, you know, um, passionate about you somehow. Uh, it doesn't have to be love. The Knight of Wands is a passionate energy, though. So there's someone that's passionate that's, you know, uh, kind of in your energetic field. And, you know, in the sense of you, Pisces, and just reflecting you, I feel like there's a lot of creativity that can come from you right now. You know, while this, this situation may require a lot of strength from you, um, I do just get a lot of still that creative energy, you know, so fuel things, put the, all the energy, put the rage into passion, into purpose. You know, and I see you building and creating things with that King of Pentacles and Knight of Wands energy. 